Hi guys, Ash and Scarlet here. Hi guys! For our latest instalment of our What We Ate and Drank on our latest holiday, which was to Disneyland in California and lots of other areas of Hollywood and Los Angeles and all the great beaches. So on this trip, we stayed at the Holiday Inn Buena Park, which I think we all enjoyed, didn't we, Scarlett? Yes, and, and on this holiday, we did have a lot of snacks and yummy meals, so we're going to be telling you today of what we thought about them. Thanks, Scarlett. So day one, we didn't really do much because we travelled, and the first day really was day two, when we went to Los Angeles Lakers, where we had pretty much quick service meals, which included, for me, a cheeseburger, Lindsay had a Philly cheesesteak, Scarlett had a hot dog, and Sienna had chicken strips with french fries. We thought that this was pretty good and I washed it down with an amazing mango cart lager. Scarlett and Lindsay had a big Prosecco. I would not be having a Prosecco. <laughs> the next day at Disneyland, we started the day at Alien Pizza with two kids pepperoni cheese pizzas, which were really, really tasty. and was a really nice little hack in that we got a good snack for about $8 each. Um, and we got a little drink, and then Scarlett got her favourite thing. Popcorn! Yum, 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 yum. Love the Disney popcorn. It's the best thing. And then we had to go with tradition in Disneyland California with churros. And our little trick here is, between four of us, two big churros were more than big enough for us. And we really, really enjoyed those. Later in the day, we went and had a Mickey Mouse pretzel, and we enjoyed them so much, we actually ended up with two. <laughs> with cheese dip. What do you think, Scarly? Really good. I just think the pretzels are really good, but sometimes he had a bit too much salt, which is fine though. Just make sure you've got a drink. True! <laughs> the cheese yummy dip. Make sure you ask for cheese dip. We then went into Disney, downtown Disney, and went to Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen which was really, really nice. A really nice atmosphere. It reminded us a lot of the French Quarter and Port Orleans. Lindsay had the fried chicken BLT po' boy, which she really enjoyed. Scarlett and Sienna had some French fries and the pasta and meatballs, and I had the pasta, uh, pasta jambalaya. Next day, we were at Goofy's Kitchen, which is a big, big, massive buffet pretty much every type of food you can think of, whether it's breakfast or lunch. Those, Scarlett got her favourite. Can I just say, those chicken nuggets for breakfast, like seriously, I know, crazy. she had a cheese omelette and she also had her Mickey waffles and a dance with Goofy. We then went by the pool and Scarlett had her first doll whip of the trip. Yum, yum, yummy. <laughs> Lindsay had a frozen mm. alcoholic drink and I had a frozen pina cava. These were really, really tasty and refreshing. We then went to the outlets in the evening and I had to get my favourite Panda Express. I had to get my portion of orange chicken and egg fried rice. And it was amazing. I didn't share it and I ate it all by myself. Lindsay had an Aunt Annie's pepperoni pretzel. Our next day at Disney California, we went to Starbucks. Lynn Scarlett had a birthday cake pot, even though it weren't a birthday. Me and Lindsay had um, caramel lattes and some sugar cookies that were great for all We then went to Jack Jack's Num Nums for the cookie cake. Oh my and I've got to say, it's gone right near the top of our favourite Disney snacks. Is that fair, Scarlett? Fair, definitely. We then went to Bing Bong Sweet Stuff. And Scarlett got a rainbow unicorn frozen refresher. Basically, a giant cup full of colour and sugar with nerds on the top. Yummy! <laughs> we then enjoyed the cozy cone for the bacon cheese macaroni pasta. What do you think, Scarlett? I thought it was really good, and we even had a little bit of a little fat is. We also had an American Wieners, but me and Lindsay did, and we had a cheese and bacon hot dog was amazing with beautiful sort of potato chips which was really really tasty and definitely recommend. That evening we went to the Light Lamp Lounge which we really enjoyed. Scarlett had an Infinity Fizz cocktail. It was amazing, it literally was amazing. And I had one that was a secret menu to find out what it is you need to watch the film for. 
I then had the pastrami spiced impossible burger, pineapple on. The girls had a macaroni cheese, and Scott Lindsay had the cheddar burger. Can I just say that was probably my favourite restaurant? Oh, interesting. Our day in Santa Monica, we went to the beach, Lindsay had a cheeky corona, and we, sh we shared some cheesy fries, which were pretty tasty. That evening we went to the Cheesecake Factory, one of our favourites off site. And this one's beautiful because it's up on the top. We've got a little visitor. Hi Sienna! <laughs> Lindsay had the Thai green curry. I had my favourite bang bang chicken and shrimp. And the girls had corn dogs. dogs. And we had the most amazing salted caramel cheesecake. Which I might say is the best cheesecake we've ever had at the Cheesecake Factory. It was delicious. Our next day back in Disneyland, we started the day again with our two for four churros. Are they good, Sienna? Yeah, she's nodding. We then went for Dole Whip, but this time we had pineapple Dole Whip and mango Dole Whip. Which? We actually ended up thinking which one was best, Scarlett? I thought personally the mango. We then went to the pool, the pool again for a little bit. We had some sweet potato fries. Lindsay had a strawberry daiquiri with tequila and I had a blueberry lemonade with vodka. We then went to Refreshment Corner which is Disneyland's version of Casey's. We had macaroni, pa uh, macaroni cheese in the bread box and hot dogs. We finished the night with what Sienna calls poppy hair. <laughs> Day at the beach we had a BJ's pepperoni pizza which was a deep Ooh, pan and was so so delicious yummy we then went to scoop and bell ice cream for the most expensive ice creams known to man did you like your ice cream sienna yeah that night we went to chomp rocking sushi which is fresh sushi up in fullerton <laughs> Lindsay had the coconut shrimp sushi i had the flaming sushi, we shared some calamari, and the girls had the largest egg fried rice ever known to man. Next day we went to Hollywood, we started the day at Denny's with coffees and pancakes. Were they good, Scarlett? They were good, but we expected to get more we did, to than what fair. we got, because um, he said it was a stack and we only came with two. We then finished the night at one of our other favourites, the Hard Rock Cafe where we enjoyed lots and lots of amazing foods and cocktails. I had my usual pulled pork burger. Lindsay had her usual, the bacon cheeseburger. And the girls had some tapulo chicken and chips. And, and of course we had the mac and cheese because it's the best thing there. Seriously. On our final day at Disney California Adventure, we went over to the Pintest Kitchen where we had something that was a little bit different. We had the not so little chicken sandwiches. Scarlett had some tater tots. Yum, yum, yum. Now the sandwiches were pretty good. We really enjoyed them taste wise. We just felt they were a little bit overcooked and the bread felt a little bit hard. But again, we're thinking that that might have just been a one-off. We also washed them down with the proton punch. That was really good. And they even had the little boba balls in. Yeah, Sienna then woke up a little bit later and went to Flo's Diner and had a very basic cheeseburger and chips, which she really, really enjoyed. That evening we went to somewhere that we probably should have been long, long before in America to Blaze Pizza. We made our own pizzas and we thought they were... Amazing! We actually think they might have been the best pizza we've ever had. We thought they were so, so tasty. Definitely recommended. Definitely. So, our next day shopping at Orange at the Outlets, we had some milkshakes and f loaded French fries, oh. which were so tasty. The milkshakes were really thick and tasty and creamy and amazing. We then went to El Torito with our Mexican on Taco Tuesday, where Scarlett had chicken tacos, Lindsay had fajitas, Sienna had cheese tacos, and I went up to the Taco Cheese, uh, Taco Tuesday taco stands for steak, pork, and chicken. 
it was amazing. And then the girls were still not full at Disney Springs and had churros. Salted caramel churros and Oreo churros. Any good, Skylar? Really good. Our final day at Disneyland. We went for breakfast at the plaza with Minnie Mouse. Which was another buffet with pastries, fruit, jellies. We made our own omelettes. Yes. Was it good, Scarlett? Yes. One thing that wasn't weird about this, though, they didn't have chicken for breakfast. <laughs> like Goofy's Kitchen. Yeah. Lots and lots of other hot, hot foods as well, including sausages and bacon. And Sienna loved her French toast and scrambled egg. And Scarlett at four Minnie Mouse waffles. What have you got to say for yourself? I had a bit more than that. <laughs> and she washed it down whilst watching the parade with a Starbucks a strawberry acai refresher mm, that was good and then at the end of the day as we were leaving we needed to cheer ourselves up so we went back for more pineapple dolphin that evening we ate from Wendy's and the drive through and we had chicken crunch burgers chips and chicken nuggets and whilst it was pretty tasty and we enjoyed it we did think it was really expensive considering it's just a fast food uh, drive through Like McDonald's. Yeah, but it was good. We enjoyed it. Final day, we went to the place that everybody who goes to California must go to. The place with the greatest burgers in America, Europe, the UK, In-N-Out Burger. I had never tried this. This was my first time, and I thought this was actually really good. 10 out of 10? Yeah. 100 out of 100? 1,000 no. out of 1,000? You need more maps. So, what we've been there, hopefully then, we've been able to show you everything that we enjoyed on our trip, everything that we ate, everything that we drank. We had an amazing time. We definitely recommend anybody to go to California and Disney over there. Yeah. Anything you want to say to finish off, Scarlett? Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell, and comment down below what's your favourite place to eat in LA. Thanks, guys. Keep watching. Bye.